Looking up at the night sky, one of the eternal questions that people ask is where do humans belong in the larger scheme of things? The increasing amount of technology and data provided by Europe's space telescopes, observatories and planetary missions is bringing us closer than ever to understanding this question. From their positions high above us, they act as Europe's eyes in space, providing us with astounding views of the universe. But why do we need all this information? This is important to understand where are we and, and, and how the universe where, to which we belong was formed uh, and uh, how is it today and how it will evolve. Based just outside Madrid, ESA's European Space Astronomy Centre, ESAC, has an increasingly central role in ESA's astronomy and planetary missions. Directly connected to ESOC, ESA's Satellite Operations Centre, ESAC gets access to deep space antennae data from all over the world. ESAC is generally the first place where views from space are looked at and studied, where data on black holes, distant galaxies and neighbouring planets is brought together to be analysed. To give astronomers access to ESA's observatory missions, astronomers from all over the world submit observing proposals in which they can request the use of satellite instruments to observe a particular object or area of the sky. ESAC is involved in every stage of this selection process. There is an announcement of opportunities for science analysis and ESAC is contributing to that process with the selection of the best candidates to optimize the use of the scientific satellites. ESAC is involved not only in the selection process, but also in organizing the planning for missions, the calibration of the instruments, and then supporting the processing and analysis of the data for the global scientific community. There are a lot of investments uh, made on scientific satellite in order to seek uh, for life uh, in the outer world, in other planets, and to, to look for the origin of life. So this uh, uh, brings an enormous amount of data that has to be analyzed and studied and put at the disposal of the scientists, because there is a lot of data, a, a lot of knowledge that is linked to this data. Here we do an important role, which is the calibration of this data and the translation of this data in a format that may be exploited by the scientific people. So far, ESA has launched over 20 satellites for astronomy and planetary missions to study the universe and our solar system from different perspectives. By studying the different colour wavelengths objects in the universe emit, it's possible to build up a more complete picture. All these different types of emission help us understand the universe. They tell us about the lives of stars, how they are born, how they evolve, how they die at the end, when they have exhausted all the, 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 the material that they had, all, all the energy that they had. They die with an explosion, and we see it in different wavelengths. To this end, ESA has missions such as XMM-Newton, which by looking at sections of the sky with X-ray, ultraviolet and visible images simultaneously, can study different energetic phenomena, such as nova and supernova explosions. In July 2007, XMM released the largest X-ray source catalogue ever produced, with over 200,000 observations. Another mission, Integral, is studying X and gamma rays from beyond our galaxy. It has found more than a hundred massive black holes a million times the mass of our Sun and over 500 new sources, which are typically systems comprised of a giant star and black hole. It's also the first astronomy mission to have detected hard X-rays from the center of our galaxy, hopefully providing a clue to the source of antimatter in the future. Studies of other mysteries of the universe are also planned. Missions such as Planck, intended for launch this year, are designed to study the nature of dark energy and dark matter, which theoretically make up 95% of the composition of the universe and could potentially be the driving force behind its expansion. ESAC also plays a major role for planetary missions. Data from missions such as Mars Express and Venus Express is collected and stored for scientific use. By becoming the European Centre for all the data from these and other ESA missions, 
ESAC has a combined body of knowledge that is priceless. To perform all these roles, you need a specific knowledge. You need to know about science. You need to know about the way the satellite works, about the instruments, what are the specific constitution of the instruments, how they can be operated, how they can be calibrated. And you need to have, for instance, computer knowledge in the way to structure the data. All that is an ensemble which requires a kind of combined knowledge. All that is here. All that is in ESAC. So now, when we look up at the night sky, we'll certainly know more about how the universe works with an increased awareness of the vast amounts of information that make up that knowledge.